thanks for taking time out of your day to join me for just a brief devotion and a time of prayer. Listen, I want to talk to you this morning about getting close to God. Now, many of us have been on this journey for years, and you might say, well, I'm close to God. But I want to challenge you to understand that we are always supposed to be growing closer to Him. And there's ways that we can do that. So, so let me just jump into this real quick. Getting closer to God has so many benefits. We get closer to God by spending time with Him. You see, when we read the Bible, we're hiding His Word in our heart. And those words can hold us up, they can encourage us, and they can come back to us when we need them the most. Times of drawing near to God help solidify our intimacy whether we feel it at the time or not. When we walk every day in close, intimate fellowship with God, we're really living the ultimate life. We're living that rich and satisfying life that we hear Pastor Jack talk about all the time. Just think of it, walking side by side with the creator of the universe, tapping in to the wisdom of the ages, hearing directly from the source to fulfill our divine destiny, being unconditionally loved by the lover of our souls, and a blessing to everyone we meet. This is the ultimate life that God has for us. Psalm 16, 111 gives such a great picture of this life. There's so many benefits to knowing God and having a deep relationship with Him. And here's just a few. Verse 1 says this, that when we know Him, we are protected. Here's what it says. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. In today's violent, volatile world, there's nothing better than knowing that he's watching over us and we are safe in him. Verses 5 through 6 says this, show us a bright future in him. Lord, you are my portion and my cup of blessing. You hold my future. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. What a wonderful picture of the future that we can have when we're in relationship with God. You know, when David wrote this psalm, his life was full of trouble, but he knew and trusted God, so he was joyfully content. Knowing God means that we can praise him no matter where we are, and we can look forward with faith. Now, verses 7 through 8 remind us how faithful God is to guide us. I will bless the Lord who counsels me. Even at night when my thoughts trouble me, I always let the Lord guide me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be shaken. What a firm foundation that we have in him. Let me pray for us. Lord, thank you for these promises. Thank you to remind us that we... Uh, have great benefits to being in relationship with you. And Lord, as, as we go through this life, as we go through this journey, would you just help us to see that we need to grow ever closer to you every day. And Lord, the way that we do that is by spending time with you. So help us to remember to set aside specific time to spend with you in intimate moments. God, I thank you for this word. Thank you for the benefits of the relationship that I have with you. In Jesus' name.